Hey, Ronnie Dahl, Four Wheeling Australia. In this video, you're gonna see a lot of this and a lot of that. We are snapping winch cables to see what happens when they snap. If this isn't about how they snap, although we do learn a lot about how they snap, this is more about what can happen if a winch cable does fail, what it does to, to people, what it does to vehicles. It's quite shockingly and quite surprising. And in this video, we also snap a Dyneema rope so you can see if it actually recoils. And at the end of this video, I would like you to comment down below and tell me, would you use cable or would you use winch rope? And there are a lot of shocking surprises. So stay tuned and let's get straight into it. Oh, wait, I nearly forgot. We have a bit of a surprise at the end. So watch it all the way to the end and you'll see this. Let's get into it. 2000 horsepower D8 bulldozer. Keep those of Dave safe. We have ensured that this strap, if it does snap here, it is going to drop to the ground. We have a decent weight here, a big rubber heavy tire or rubber, rubber donut. It's far better than these blankets. This is the start of our cable. Now the cable's going to go that way. We are not sure what's going to happen, so we are all going to be hiding in our safe spot. So this is the start of the cable and this is the start of all our sacrificial mannequins. The weak point is just behind us. The weak point is that purple strap. The orange strap is a 20 ton sling. That's never going to go. The purple strap is a 1 ton sling, which has a braking strength of about 4 tons. So every time we break something, it'll be at least 4 tons of pressure. That gunshot you heard was the actual weak point, which was a strap, a 1 ton strap. That's the noise you heard when that went. The amount of energy stored in that winch cable is just ridiculous. How fast it went across the field from one end to the other end, narrowly missing the bulldozer. And you'll see these dampeners that we had on it, the bags that you fill up with sand and you put on the winch cable, did nothing. The whole lot went straight through that and just skipped over the bags. The only thing that kind of slowed it down a bit was that big truck tire. So what's the distance from that tree to here? The entire winch line travelled 80 metres across the field at a very fast speed. We need a tire further back. Wow, how fast did that come, you know? That, that's, that is crazy. Stay straight though. Yeah, straight through. Alright, really yeah. we need to pull that way. Yeah, get a bit of angle on it. Oh. Yes! Tin can, mate. Wow. Bang! So Went across there. Ironically enough, the winch cable actually saved the lady from being smashed by the actual hook. Where was the lady that was here? Gone. Oh, is that her there? She's alright. Missing the head though, her arms are off. Wow, that is, that's frightening how fast it goes. I reckon that's almost the same speed as a bullet, like a subsonic bullet. That's intense, man. Wow. How's the winch cable? Now, please keep in mind, we know that it's unrealistic that people are going to stand this close to the winch line. We just want to see what happens. So what we've done this time is we've put the line on an angle through the front driver side window and out the back passenger side window. 
when a cable goes on top of steel, it severs, it gets cut. And that's what happened here. The winch cable actually cut itself right on the door. So this is, there must be wire at the other end. Just that extra bit of steel on steel. Yeah, the vehicle. That's, that's not that's not my join. The vehicle cut it. Mm. Harry, yeah. Harry got cut in half. Oh wow, legit cut in half. <laughs> oh yeah, these aren't joined in the middle. Oh wow. <laughs> the other half of them is over there. Yeah, these half. these yeah. aren't joined. Yeah. These are one. <laughs> that was one piece. He got sliced. The scary part is when a winch cable does sever in the middle, it, it has a lot of stored energy and it goes both ways. So you have a very large danger zone when that happens. And this is not gonna end well, no matter what it hits. Is that from the other end? Oh, wow. Well, this was at the Triton. Okay. Yeah, this, so, is, this is so here. 80 odd meters, it's more than 80 meters from here to the other tree. Same procedure, except for this time we're going over the roof. The roof doesn't really have too many sharp edges. We may find one though, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, we'll see if the occupants survive this time. This is the bow shackle that was at the other end. Now that actually hit the back of the dozer, which is why it's sort of squashed in now. So Dylan's holding it right now, showing us. Listen out for this noise. That's the noise of the bow shackle hitting the dozer. Now, is that crazy or what? Come through, smashed the window, went in, licked the passenger, and then snapped through the door. Actually cut the door. Just clean cut it and it kept going. If you were that guy in the back that got whipped in the face, you wouldn't even know what actually got you. through the door. Look at that. Still good? And the GoPro with Harry is, that got taken out afterwards by all the energy stored in that line. So even after it whipped into that vehicle, it kept going. This one's really interesting. Again, it snapped in the middle. We didn't see any weak points on it. This was a brand new cable as well, by the way. That then proceeded both ways. Now one end comes into the vehicle. And you can see in that freeze frame right now, it's come in and then it goes out.
Now this is real time. Look how quick it happens. You wouldn't even know. We, I didn't even know until I started editing this video. It's crazy. So we took the angle grinder to the window, which works really good actually, a metal blade. There is now no excuses. This cable is going to go through this windscreen one way or another, and we have occupants in there. We need to sort out the middle passenger. Yeah, it's not right in the firing line. The idea is the chain's going to come off with the hook and go straight into this vehicle. It's separated the, the frame from the fan here. It's pushed it all in. Finally we shot one through the window, now you might think it's the hook, but it's not the hook, the actual cable snapped again. On that freeze frame you can see the severed cable right there. The entire back window got taken out including the rubber frame that sits around it. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, I've only left in the best ones to show you guys. Now there were about four or five where we have winch cables sever due to metal on metal contact. So when it would stretch, it would do this twisty thing. It would spin really fast. And when it was sitting on a bit of metal, it would basically grind itself away and then just pull itself apart. So what we found what was happening was all these strands were getting cut through and then it would just tear itself apart. So we added a chain to the mix for this particular one through the vehicle to try and prevent this from happening. However, it will stretch past the chain and we'll get metal on metal contact again and the same thing happens. It sends a shockwave through the whole cable, which creates all this steel dust. It's almost like the cable actually explodes. Now we're on to Don Emma Rope. Now a lot of people will say, and I've seen this on a lot of other people's videos, when I explain about Don Emma and cable, one of the benefits to Don Emma Rope is it doesn't recoil. 
but that's total BS. So I think the people that say that haven't actually had one snap on them. So it's just people going by what other people say. So I've experienced one snap before and they do recoil. And I'll show you right now how much they actually recoil. You might be surprised, but it's nowhere near as dangerous as a winch cable. So right now we are using a factor 55 splicing tool to prepare the rope so we've got a loop at each end so we can get the bulldozer to pull it tight and snap it. I will feature this Factor 55 splicing tool in a different video. Really awesome product so you can actually join your winch rope should it tear or snap in the middle. First impression, bloody good tool. We're ready to go. We're now going to see what happens when we snap a Don Emma rope. Let's be fair and honest, there are no weak points added into this, so it is the rope pulled to its maximum stretch. So it will recoil a bit more than usual, but I can guarantee you when a winch rope snaps, it will not magically fall to the ground like some people say that it will. Our splice held up, so it wasn't our fault. This had a serious recoil on it. So this would bloody hurt. Might not kill you, but it will de-nut you. Or, or actually, if it hit you in the throat, it will probably kill you. That's um, serious recoil. So all this is stretched out and it's just all bunched up when it's come back in again. So it's had a bit of stretch on it. It's right there where it broke. And that's where it sat on this, this shackle. This did fine, the gator jaw. Um, this is rated at 14 ton, breaking strength, strength 14 ton. Safe working limit is about three ton. Um, there you go. So this will recoil on you, but it won't cut you in half. Radio. I'm not going to hold you up any longer. Let's get the bulldozer out and let's get this Triton sorted out. So I'm a bit disappointed. At the same time, we learned a lot. Yep. But I'm a bit disappointed we didn't get that everyone taken out in the car. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, that's what everyone thinks about. Yeah. I reckon Dave might be able to sort us out. I think he can. I think so. Yeah. I think yeah. it's too tall. It is too tall. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what do you reckon, Dave? A little tall. Reckon you can help it out? I can give you a crack, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. How flat do you reckon we can get it? Um, I'm, I'm like below the ground so you can't even see it. <laughs> You're very upset with it, aren't you? It's, it's um, annoyed me all day. Let's do it. Enjoyable, but it was very unnecessary. So when you do your video of the cable, this is what you're going to say what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke the full bar. What an end. Wow. Oh, look at that. It's yeah. the wires on the inside of the tie there. Nice. Period. Nice. 
Middle. <laughs> yeah. All right, I feel yeah, we'll go back to camp now, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clean yeah, us up tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes of fun, about a day's cleaning. <laughs> were you surprised at the Donema rope, the recoil? And were you surprised at how much energy the cable stores? Which would you go? Comment down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe over here. Give us a thumbs up. And over here, we have patreon.com slash Ronnie Dahl. If you want to support the channel, it goes a long way to producing content like this. Another video down here, and I'll see you next time.